Hello friends, welcome back to a 40k journey. Today we are finishing our custom Nemesis Dread Knight commission for a friend of ours. We're using Drakenhof Nightshade, Druki Violet, and Seraphim Sepia on the exhaust system here to simulate the discoloration that comes from the intense heat. So you want to start at the top with Drakenhof Nightshade, go about halfway down, and then go a little bit less further down with Druki Violet, and then just a little bit further down with Seraphim Sepia. And by the time you're all done, you'll have a pretty burnt looking exhaust system. Now we're doing the characteristic bluing of the Grey Knight armor. We're using Drakenhof Nightshade, thinned with a little Lamian medium, because Drakenhof by itself can be pretty, pretty stark. And we're doing basically the underside of all the main armor plating. Then, to finish that up, we're using Stormhost Silver, for edge highlighting that takes a long time a lot of patience but the effect is spectacular it looks beautiful when it's finished now we're doing the same thing with evil sun scarlet here on the gatling silencer on the left arm and on the tabard just a little bit to help add some contrast now we're going to the sword we're using dawnstone as a base coat and that will give us a nice kind of medium gray so that we can highlight first with administratum gray at the edges of the blade and then with yolthwan gray to bring that up even brighter and what we're also going to do with yolthwan gray and with mechanica standard gray is add some scratches to the blade because a sword like this it's going to get some dings and dents and then we're going to bring it up one last time with white scar before we add a just flat layer of talisar blue and then come back in and go over the main highlights with white scar again and that really wraps it up thank you for joining me for this dread knight journey hope you've been inspired to do your own dread knight and i'll see you next time please like subscribe and support the channel on patreon